Hey folks, Scott here from Steel Forge. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. We're going to do a little quick video today about materials uh, because we are living in a material world and I'm not going to say the rest because it doesn't apply to me. Anyway, I thought I'd talk you through some of the materials that you probably will be using or are using with your Glowforge or your laser cutter and explain the differences between them, where I get my materials, uh, what materials I use for certain projects and the benefits of using certain materials over others. So stay tuned, we're gonna talk about materials. Okay, so first I thought what we would do is address the uh, this is like the ubiquitous material that everybody engraves on or cuts for various projects. This is a 1 8 inch Baltic birch, okay? It's got a nice wood grain to it. Um, I'm not sure if that's picking up on the camera, but here, let me get my face out of the way so you can see the wood grain. Um, kind of important about wood grain, actually, while I'm on the subject. With certain projects, you're going to want to make sure that the wood grain is, at least the wood grain that's showing to the visible side of your project. If you're selling to customers, it's very important because you want the most pleasing uh, aspect of the wood or material to be showing, you know, as the visible part of it, right? So be very mindful when you're choosing your materials to select the nicest sort of side, if you will, of the wood so that uh, you're placing its best foot forward kind of thing. So this is again, 1 8 inch Baltic birch. This is very, very commonly used in laser cutters. It's very readily available from just about all craft stores. Um, there's tons of Facebook group uh, sellers that uh, will be able to get you stuff like this. And it's usually sold in packs of like 20, 30, 40 and up kind of thing. So um, I think I paid around 250 or so a sheet and I bought about 45 of them at a time. And since then, they've actually gone up like to four dollars. And that's Canadian, by the way, four dollars Canadian per sheet, and that's for a Glowforge size. So this is, I want to say, twenty by twelve or twenty by eleven and a half or something like that. Anyway, Baltic birch. It's very thin. Okay, as you can see, it's one eighth inch thick uh, or thin, <laughs> and it is very prone to warping. Okay, so keep it out of the moisture. This is great if you're using multi-layer uh, wood for multi-layer projects because it is thin and it doesn't take up a lot of space when you're layering it. When I do my layered projects, I tend to use the quarter inch, um, the quarter inch from Columbia Forest Products, and I'll show you what I mean by those. This is the walnut from the walnut ply from. Columbia for Forest Products. This is a quarter inch thick. I'm gonna pull that back so you can see that, okay? It's a quarter inch thick, thick. It's got a walnut veneer on one side. The other side is, I have no idea what they're using for it. So anyway, um, this is used, I, I use the walnut primarily for surfacing things. Like this is the, speaking of putting the best foot forward or the best face forward, this is the stuff that I use for, uh, if I'm selling a product like, uh, you know, well, any product that's gonna require something really, really nice on the outside so that it's facing the customer or facing the end user. Um, this is beautiful stuff. Stuff. It's about $5.60 Canadian, and I get them in packs of 10 from Home Depot. Uh, this is great product. It's very, very good. It's less prone to warping. You can see how straight that is right there, as opposed to the Baltic birch, which is obviously thinner and is more porous. This is a ply, so inside here is going to be uh, aspen or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what they use. Sometimes it's MDF. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, somebody had told me on one of the, I think I asked the question on homedepot.ca as to what was in the core of this thing. And I think they said Aspen. So anyway, this stuff's great. This is basically what I use for just about every product that I sell that has wood, um, uh, a, wood a wooden aspect to it. So again, um, you'll want to make sure that, as you can see, like with this, and I'll, I'll do some B-roll for this to show you. With this particular ply, you can see there's kind of like a seam going up like this. This is where the veneer is glued together. And it is extremely evident on areas of where you see the join here. You see where this pointed area is right here? 
you can see where that's glued. So just make sure when you're making projects with this sort of stuff that you use the side that doesn't have a visible, you know, joining of the glued areas, right? So um, anyway, great product. Again, about $5.60, 56 bucks for 10 sheets. I get it from homedepot.ca. If you're in the States, you can get this from homedepot.com and it's going to be significantly cheaper for you guys. Um, I'm not sure if you can also buy this from other areas. I'm thinking, at least in Canada anyway, Home Depot is the exclusive retailer of Columbia Forest products, but I'm sure you can also get a quarter inch walnut ply or any other ply for that matter because they do come in different woods. I have walnut, I use maple, I stain the maple most times uh, because it's just a blonde wood like the Baltic Birch, just like this, right? So I stain the maple. There's also hickory, there's cherry, there's mahogany, uh, there's also birch. There's a few of them out there. So be sure to check uh, Columbia Forest products out. They're not a sponsor, um, but I use these guys uh, fairly extensively in most projects. Okay, so let's move on to acrylics. Now, I don't often use acrylics. I bought some. I'm going to be using some in an upcoming project for Christmas ornaments that I got from a, an Etsy store. And what I'm basically going to be doing is using two pieces of wood on either side of a uh, piece of red glitter acrylic so that it comes through uh, in the, the empty spaces on the ornament. It's going to look great, I hope. Anyway, fingers crossed. But uh, yeah, moving on to acrylic, there are uses for it, particularly when you're using uh, or creating a, an outdoor outdoor project, something that's going to be like a house sign or something that's used out in the elements because acrylic isn't subject to the elements like wood would be. Wood, you can certainly treat with something that's going to be a weather uh, preventive or preventative or sealant. <laughs> um, so, but ultimately, plywood doesn't do well in any kind of outdoor application. Even if it's treated, it's going to degrade over time. Just the moisture and the humidity get into it and it just starts to peel apart and it just looks nasty. So if you're looking to create a project for the outdoors, then what you're going to want to do is make sure that you use like an acrylic like, uh, like this one here. This is an eighth inch rose gold acrylic. This has a, uh, a protective film on the outside of this. Okay, it's like a, a clear protective film that you just peel off. Some people use it as a masking. I don't trust it as a masking. I've had flare ups um, with the mask. So I, I tend to take this off and actually uh, use masking tape for this particular product. On the back is just a gray it's where the mirror is for the acrylic on the back there. That's what they paint on. Uh, I also mask this area too. But this is 1 8 inch rose gold acrylic. This stuff's rather pricey. The mirrored acrylic is quite pricey because, well, it's mirrored acrylic. So any acrylic is expensive. Uh, this stuff cost me about 17 bucks, 18 bucks a, a sheet of, um, you know, 19 by 12 Glowforge size kind of thing. Um, readily available, again, from... If you're in the States, you can get this stuff. Surly and Tides uh, do a great job. Houston Acrylics, I think that's their name. I apologize if that isn't the way that you say it or isn't your name. But uh, you can check, check out the Facebook groups and there's tons of people who are selling this sort of thing. Um, so check those out and always support smaller businesses too. So yeah, um, about 18 bucks a sheet Canadian probably 13 American, something like that, or US. Uh, really good stuff. Great for layering projects. If you're going to be doing like a black background uh, with this plain acrylic like this one, right? And this this is black acrylic. On one side is like a, a satiny, kind of like a matte finish. On the other side, it's a gloss, like a piano black. So that's the, uh, the black acrylic. Again, 1 8 inch thick. It comes with that, as you can see, that uh, protective film that that's, they say you can use as a mask. The stuff that I get already comes masked on one side, ma making it a heck of a lot easier. Um, but anyway, so this stuff here, when um, mixed with the... Uh, it's hard to see because of that plastic stuff that's in the way, but uh, it looks really, really good when you've got a black backing and you've used like let's say for instance you're making a house sign or a family sign and you cut the uh the name and the initials and stuff like that out of the the mirrored acrylic and then use the black plain acrylic as the backing it looks really slick it looks really really smart really classy uh and uh yeah so that's what i do with those things i don't generally use a lot of acrylic as i mentioned because man it stinks Wow, it reeks like when, especially when you're cutting it. And I've got an, like a pretty powerful inline fan back there. I've got the S6 cloud line uh, pumping the air out the window with an upgraded um, six inch hose. If you've watched my 
inline fan setup video on my channel. Uh, you can certainly check that out as to how that gets working and uh, how it gets set up. But acrylic, regardless of whether you've got, I don't care if I've got a, an F-17 turbine hooked up to the Glowforge, this stuff still reeks to high heaven. I think I mentioned that in a previous video as well. So if you're gonna be cutting with this, with any laser cutter, doesn't matter whether it's the Glowforge or a Thunder or a Mirror or whatever, Trotec, it doesn't matter how good your inline fan is, it's still gonna stink. So. Uh, yeah, I use it very sparingly, um, and I'm not looking forward to doing those Christmas ornaments simply for that reason. Uh, so that's acrylic, and speaking of the acrylic, the, the mirrored acrylic, this stuff's going to fall over. Sorry, there we go. Um, it also comes in things like uh, gold and silver. So, um, yeah, you can get the gold and silver. I'm not sure if it comes in any other mirrored colors. I think there are probably like a smoky gray. I know that Trotec do some really cool acrylics where there's brushed metal on the top. And when you uh, engrave the brushed metal, there's like a black underneath it. And it looks really slick. It's expensive. Don't get me wrong. Like this stuff. I mean, you're paying top dollar for it, but you're getting top quality product too. So, um, yeah, there's some really, really cool acrylics at, uh, at Trotec. Be sure to check those guys out because they do a, a really, really fantastic product when it comes to the uh, engravables or the laser materials. Um, I hear their lasers are really, really good too. They're a little bit out of my snack bracket right now. Maybe one day, you know, fingers crossed things do well. Uh, maybe I'll upgrade uh, to a, a Trotec at some point. The Speedy 300 looks really nice. Uh, anyway, yeah, so Trotec do really, really cool acrylics. I'm sure there's other places that do them as well. I've seen like, um, you know, like rainbow colors and iridescent acrylics and colored acrylics that have white underneath when you engrave the top of it. Like it'll be like red or purple or blue. And then when you engrave it, it's white underneath or even white. And then when you engrave it, it's purple or blue or, or red underneath. So uh, yeah, lots of really, really cool options out there. If you want to use acrylic, if you're willing to put up with the smell, um, I encourage you to look at, uh, you know, check out your choices, check out your options. And there are other things, obviously I'm not going to cover things like cutting boards or anything that you can engrave because those are readily available at, uh, you know, anywhere. I mean, uh, Hobby World, if you're in the States, uh, I wish we had one of those up here, man. Like I see on the Facebook groups, everybody, you know, filling carts full of really cool materials to, to engrave on with their laser cutters. And and I'm just like so envious and jealous. <laughs> but we have Michael's up here in Canada. You know, there's a few places you can get stuff. There's Ikea as well if you want to, you know, get, uh, you know, cutting boards or whatever. Um, but yeah, there's, there's plenty of materials out there that you can engrave on or cut. Um, just make sure that you get a supplier who has really, really good uniform cuts, who, uh, you know, has good dry. If you're using the Baltic birch, it's it's not, you know, there's no moisture in it. Uh, if you're using plywoods, make sure that it's really good quality plywood because a lot of them have gaps of air in between the layers that uh, will sort of just scorch or burn uh, if you're using them in the, in the laser cutter and you cut through them. Um, some of the glue is, you know, a little bit dodgy on some of the plywood. So be sure to check those out. Again, Columbia Forest products, I've had great results with them they're not the only game in town there's pure bond um, there's other stuff out there that's very high quality too so again do your research there's lots of stuff out there it can get expensive so just do a lot of research before you drop your dollars on whatever it is that you're um, buying you know you are gonna like I did like everybody does when you first get your laser cutter your glowforge whatever it is um, you're gonna want to buy all the stuff right because you've got a million things going on through your head about what you're gonna create with your laser cutter uh, and that's fine you know get the materials play around with them uh, test them out see what you can create with them you know get again like the mind it boggles the imagination really is your only limitation so you know be sure to go and, and support local uh, or support small businesses when you can or wherever you can uh, but get the materials that are right for you that are right for your creative um, projects or right for your business and i wish you all the very best in everything that you do keep on creating and uh, we'll watch we'll see you we won't watch you we'll see, you'll be watching me i'll be watching you watching the next video coming up thanks a lot folks peace by the way, I completely forgot to mention, you see this beauty behind me? That's Master Blaster. That's my Glowforge Pro. If you want to get yourself a Glowforge, they've got a fantastic referral program where you can use my referral link in the description below to save yourself up to $500 US off a Glowforge Pro, like mine back there, 
uh, 250 bucks off a Glowforge Plus or 125 bucks off of a Basic. I get credit when you use my referral link, so I super appreciate it and thank you in advance for doing so. Again, have a great time. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Wherever you're watching, cheers.